Last year before the start of the season, Ohio baseball was chasing everybody in the Mid-American Conference. This year, before the 2016 season, everybody in the Mid-American Conference is chasing Ohio baseball. After 36 wins last year, a MAC tournament trophy and a trip to the NCAA tournament, the Cats are back for 2016. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Rob Smith, the fourth year head coach of the Cats, joins me as we preview the season. Before we start uh, talking about this year, how many times in the offseason have you thought, gosh, what an amazing ride that you guys went on last year? Yeah, it's, we think about it all the time. I mean, it was obviously a great time for our kids, a, a great momentum builder for the program, and just an exciting time for everybody associated with it. And as we've gone through the fall and had alumni events and, and had people back to campus, it was certainly a, uh, a point of conversation and one that we're very proud of. But uh, that being said, we know it's time to turn the page and get on to 2016. There's a different message now, obviously, because last year, you were saying, well, you need to show who you are to the rest of the league. Now, everybody in the league knows who you are. Mm -hmm. So how does that change your directive and how you talk to your players going into this season after everything you did last year? Yeah, I think, you know, there's, it, there are some changes. You have to consider that, you know, we're not going to sneak up on anybody. I think teams are going to be far more prepared uh, for us than maybe they were at times last year. And, uh, you know, so it's just a matter of making that adjustment. And as you move programs forward, you, you got to continue to talk about those things. And, and our guys have to be able to handle the expectations that come with you know winning a championship and then moving on to the next season and, and trying to be competitive again. In the MAC poll, Ohio is picked second in the MAC East behind Kent State and no votes to win the MAC tournament, but we'll find out about that. The Cats won it last year. Your thoughts on the preseason poll? I think it's accurate. You know, there's obviously some really, really good teams in our league. Kent State's going to be an outstanding team with their roster, a lot of good pitching on the front end. Central Michigan's got a lot of guys back. They're a quality club. Ball State's going to be good again. So I'm not surprised by where we were at. Um, I think it's a fair assessment, and uh, you know we're just looking forward to, to getting out there and playing. So much comes back from that season last year. A lot of offensive pop and the pitching, largely a lot of the same names too. Um, so your expectations for this year with this team to build upon last year? I think we're going to be very competitive again in our league. You know, we've got a challenging non-conference schedule, which is going to give us some indications of, of where we're at heading into conference play. but. I like our team. I think our pitching depth is actually better than it was last year. Um, we return a lot of position players. Um, I like our lineup. I think it's balanced. It gives us a little bit of a combination of power and speed. And so I, I think we've got a quality club. If we can stay healthy, I, you know, I expect that we're going to be very competitive in our league. I believe that he should have been the coach of the year in the MAC last year. Uh, the player of the year returns. The pitcher of the year is gone. But let's talk about the player of the year and Mitch Longo. Gosh, how much more can he give you? Well, Mitch is, you know, he's a hard worker, man. He's a fantastic kid, and he brings a lot to our club, and I know he's got really high expectations for himself, but he's obviously the centerpiece of our offense, hitting in the three-hole, and uh, we talk about that speed-power combination. I mean, he is, he is that. You know, he's going to have the opportunity to steal bases. He can get hits with his legs. Um, he can drive the ball out of the park. So, you know, he's a key, he's a key part to what we do, and, you know, I'm looking forward to, to seeing him play this year. And, and you know, live up to the expectations that the league has put out for him. Yeah, so many position players are back. Just a couple of holes that you have to fill. So how do you fill those holes moving forward? Well, you know, obviously the biggest loss was Jake Matson. You know, in the four hole, um, he was a mainstay here for all four years that he that he played at Ohio. He's the all time hits leader. So you know, there's some offense to be picked up there. But you know, we still got Manny De Jesus at the top. Um, you know, you return John Adrian in the middle of the lineup who really came on strong last year in the second half. Mitch, obviously, we talked about. Cody Gardner, who's a fifth-year senior. Yeah. And even a guy like Ty Black and Nate Squires, um, who, who are very experienced players. I mean, they, they bring a lot of at-bats to the table um, that way. So I think we're, we're really good experience-wise. And then there's some new pieces that we have to add in. I think some, some new faces you'll see. Tony Giannini, who played a little bit last mm -hmm. year. He's going to be out there a lot more often. Um, Spencer Ibarra is a new player. For us, that'll be uh, working out in the outfit. He's a left-handed hitter. And then uh, freshman Rudy Rutt, who, uh, who's an outstanding hitter, he's actually very much like Jake Madsen. When people mm -hmm. see him play, they're going to think Jake's back out there again. Same left-handed type swing and just a very similar player. So we're excited about what he can bring to the table as well. In the rotation, some of the names are going to be the same, but there's a little bit of a shift. Um, obviously, when you had Logan Kozar closing things last year, there were games that were locks going into the seventh, eighth, or ninth innings when he'd come in. So maybe a shift from a starter going to the pen. Your thoughts on your rotation and how you're piecing it together? Well, Jerry Salisbury is going to start game one for us. Uh, People didn't see him last year. He was out with an injury. Um, pitched a little bit his freshman year. Uh, missed last year with the injury and, and has really come back strong. And his velocity has been up all fall. 
Um, so he's landed himself in that Friday spot. We're excited about seeing him perform. Jake Prudnicki will be on Saturday. Um, Jake's, you know, was in our rotation for most of the year last year. Um, pitched that big game against Western Michigan in the tournament, and mm -hmm. so we're hoping he can take that momentum. And, and uh, he had a great fall, and he's really made some jumps as well. And then uh, Connor sits, uh, who's got more starts than anybody in the program. Uh, yeah. He's been starting games since his freshman year, and uh, he'll be on the Sunday spot for us here as we get started. Swagger most certainly was something that we saw from this team, and, and rightly so. They created their own emotion and momentum that just kind of rolled along towards that MAC title. Is that the same sort of uh, mindset and approach to games this year, even after the title from last year that we'll see from you? Yeah, you know, we want to keep our team loose, man. I want our guys to have fun. I want them to enjoy the environment they play in. Um, you know, we work really, really hard. These kids make a lot of sacrifices, and we want them to enjoy that experience. And mm -hmm. I think that's what I hope people see from our team. You know, one of the best compliments I got last year was actually from a parent at the conference tournament is they talked about, first of all, how hard our kids played, but they mm -hmm. talked about how much they, they enjoyed playing. Yeah. And that's the great combination. You know, you get kids that really buy in and, and, and play hard and, and compete but yet they enjoy doing it. It doesn't look like it's, it's work. It, it looks like something they really want to be a part of. So I hope that we can continue that, and I think this group definitely embodies that. 2015 was so much fun, and hopefully 2016 is too. Good luck, and thanks for the visit. Thanks, Russ. I appreciate it. That's Rob Smith, the head coach of Bobcat Baseball. We will broadcast Mid-American Conference Series coming up on WOUBAM this year and on OhioBobcats.com. The Cats open it up this weekend at UNC Asheville, back here for the home opener coming up near the start of March. That's coverage and the season preview of Bobcat Baseball 2016. With the coach, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.